What's up, Upper Echelon? This is your boy, Upper Echelon, come with another banger for y'all. I told you I'm gonna keep these videos and this heat cranking out for you. But first, y'all need to help me out. Hit that like button. I need that like button so we can push it out to the masses. And hit the subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Alright, Abel Sanchez sit there and tells us that he chooses Spence to win this fight against Crawford. Says Spence is a better fighter. But we're gonna get into that and we're gonna let him break down why he picked Spence. And, you know, y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe button. This upper insula, I'm going to keep the heat coming for you as long as y'all keep rocking with me. I make that transition to become a man, and then I'll start sparring with a man that I feel like is a man. And that's, that's, that's it. The man hit hard. He did hard as I've been hit in my life. The man trained aggressively. I can't look at him slack because I'm going to be wiped off. You get jaws out there. Now you think it's safe. No, Jaws ain't the epitome of greatness. There's something out there much bigger. Yes, you got it. And here comes Superbug. Come through to snatch it up. All is well in the world, right? Or wrong. You forget the Megalodon. Bud might have caught Jaws in the ickiest for but he ain't ready for the Megalodon. And that's the big speech. The Megalodon. Matter of fact, he ain't even a Megalodon. Earl Spence is the biggest. How can you measure what ain't been measured before? Captain Ahab reaching out fishing. You gonna catch something that you ain't mean to catch right there because you can't catch the uncatchable, the Leviathan. Earl, the true Spence, strap season, man down, smoking on bud tour. Uh, they say you just a basic come forward flat footed fighter. They said Crawford's gonna beat you. Now that you done beat Crawford and destroyed him, what the haters gotta say now, Earl? You can do it, Jordan. And you see the real champion. Push the stretcher. Somebody sent to us. What a weird job. What started out as a joke has turned out to be a defense. Creed appears to be in very serious condition. The men are dying. in a serious condition. You heard him worse than Kilbrook and Ugas combined. If he dies, he dies. Inside the dressing room. Would you care to comment on how you plan to fight? Terrence Crawford. It's your strategy. Don't need any. Terrence Crawford. Victor boy is stupid. The man comes straight ahead. He's still a maid for me, and he's gonna get hurt. What's your prediction for the fight? Prediction? Yes, prediction. Pain. This is a fair use video. It's for education and entertainment purposes only. What's that fight, Abel? I think Spence does. Wow, yeah. Spence? Yeah. Tell me yeah. why. When they were in the Olympics, when they would come out of the Olympics, I thought that uh, that uh, Spence uh, in uh, the light heavy, what was his name from back east? Um, oh, gosh, he's got girl problems. You, you know, he's Oh, been, uh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, Shoot, uh, I, his name's at the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, like talk but I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I thought that Spence and him and he were, for me, the best prospects to win a, a, a professional belt. And both of them have done that. Uh, I thought this, I was real high on Spence. I thought that Spence was um, an exceptional fighter. And, and, and I thought that his coach was a young coach on the rise. And they proved me right. I mean, I, I, I thought that uh, I remember that coach when he was a fighter down in San Diego, sparring with some of the guys. Um, so um, I'm happy to see him successful. I'm saddened to see him get in an accident, but I think that he's got the talent and the size to beat. Uh, but I think Bud is not active enough. Uh, neither one of them are active enough, but I think the other guy's got less miles on him and, and, uh, and should beat uh, Crawford. Won't stop him, but I think you'll control him from the outside. Uh, his jab will be significant, and whether Bud goes right or left-handed, I think Spence will deal with it easily. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so excited for that fight because, like, you say that, and then I hear another coach would be like, "No, like Crawford's gonna counter him. He's gonna be like too smart for him. He's not gonna be able to do the things that he does with these other fighters." Well, you know that's what makes this game so interesting. Everybody's got an opinion. Uh, we. Uh, we we hope that it's a it's a good fight for all of us uh, and and just stick by our predictions because a lot of us <laughs> well no I knew that was gonna happen you know all of a sudden you change your mind and 
just like I said about Golovkin and Canelo, everybody's talking about he's gonna Golovkin's gonna stop him, and then after the fight, Golovkin was an old man. So, uh, but I honestly think that um, uh, Spence is the better fighter at this stage. Does it look similar to any of the fights that Errol's had uh, uh, at this point? Like, do you think it could no. be similar to like a Porter fight or the Ugas fight, something like that? But special talent, man. But it just but he's a smaller guy. Bud's a special talent, and and Spence will move up to 54 and do well. So it's just that it's a smaller guy against a bigger guy who is younger and, and a little more spirited. And I think uh, that's why I think Spence wins. I think that Bud is a little too, sometimes a little too. Coach Abel said he thinks Bud, I mean Spence, outboxes Bud. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and that, and that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps push the content out. But Coach Abel said Earl should outbox him. And how a lot of other coaches pick Bud to do it, but you know, that's just politics. First off, Abel's been um, coaching against Spence, and he's done seen Spence in action. Spence has a great IQ. You got to have a great IQ if you can sit in the pocket and brutalize and batter your opponent and not get brutalized and battered yourself. Plus, Bud doesn't use the jab as effectively as Earl Spence. Earl is a master of distance. He's a master of range. He has great accuracy and he has a great activity level. So Earl, he's going to beat you with activity. He's going to beat you with the precision shots. And he's going to then walk down on you. See, if you let the fight get started early and you taking your time to catch up to the fight you'll never catch up it's like when you see people running after the train and you see the train just pulls ahead and they fall behind as they get tired and tired at first they got that real quick burst they chase the train down they right there and like strive for strive with the train for about like five seconds you see it right there with the train they they match the speed of the train then you see the train starts to pull away and they start to fall back slower, and then they start to slow down, and then they start to walk. That's just like fighting Spitz. Spitz is that train. He's that train coming down the tracks. And for a few moments, a few fleeting moments, you at your peak. But that fatigue sets in that you can't fight or do what you want to do with him because he, like I say, he's like a snowball effect. Earl Spitz is literally like they said Tim Duck in the basketball he is fundamentally sound and once he gets going he gets going and it takes a few rounds for Earl to really get loose see Earl will throw off a hundred punches in round one through round four and just start to sweat just start to lather just start to get loose but you gotta realize the opponent that got touched all them times right there so he's already feeling he's feeling the effects of those shots plus of his body shots then he's a lost power he's a lost stamina he's probably lost the will to fight Earl and now he's gonna get hit with these striking shots with these jabs with more body shots Earl is a complete package of domination and dis and despair because when you in the ring with Earl you know you about to get tested on all your levels. He is a complete fighter, and you have to be completely there when you fight Earl. But one thing you can't say, you gonna get a complete check. But hey, it is what it is. We know, hey, we got less than nine days of the wake up until Earl versus Crawford. This your boy up an inch in love, man. I'm signing off on this one. Y'all hit that share button, the like button, the subscribe if y'all don't mind. Peace and blessings to all of y'all. I'm out.